I have started recording. I'll send the recorded video to your Google Drive. But uh, I need the email like this. I think uh, I don't, I have to collect the email like this. So we can start. So this, uh, as I have told you, if my voice is uh, fluctuating, you will, uh, you please let me know. If my voice is fluctuating, please let me know. Now, okay, okay, fine. Now. In this uh, in this trust problem, the thing is that there are six panels. Okay, so I will draw it and show it to you now. Are you able to see uh, me drawing? Yes, sir. Okay. So there are six panels in the truss and each panel is of length 4.2. So total length is how much? 4.2 into 6. Okay. So it will be 6 to the 12, 25.2 meter. Okay. Now what is uh, said here? If I go to the PDF file, 25.2, as uh, we already know, we have multiplied 6 into 4.2. Every panel is 4.2. Any point, you, if you don't understand, you can just speak up. OK, so uh, one second. Yes. Now, length of each panel given 4.2, then Depth of truss height is given 3.64. Okay, you can see it directly in the PDF 3.64. This one 3.64. Then carries away width, that means the width of the deck actually. Okay, the width of the deck, you cannot see it here. Okay, you cannot see it here. It generally means. If you look from this side, the width that you will see will be 7.5 meter. If you are looking from this side or from this side, the width is generally 7.5 meter. Okay. So I think you have understood. Now, what is stranger? Okay, so for stranger, you have to visualize, okay, how it looks like. If you are looking from the front, okay, just from this side or from this side, you will see the bridge like this, okay. And this is of 7.5 meter. Okay, this is the width. And the truss will go on like this. Somewhat like this, you will see. Okay, these are the truss. 
Okay, so now uh, stringers are placed uh, along 7.5. Okay, stringers are placed along this 7.5 width. So what is the spacing here? 1.875, 1 1.875 uh, between the uh, four, uh, five stringers. Okay, so generally uh, the main, if you try to visualize, the stringers are placed here. Okay, like this 1.875, 1.875 like this spacing and here the spacing is 0 0.6 0 0.6 and remaining are 1.875 1.875 1.875 1 1.875 1 like that so have you uh, got my point till now have you understood till now <laughs> now no, sir. if you have any doubt you can ask okay uh, now first thing is you have to design the dex lab now for dex lab there is one diagram you can see it here which panel this diagram you can see okay you can see it here this is which one which part if i try to look into my diagram if i want to see which part it is then it will be if i try to look into it you see here i'm showing it to you If you look from the top, suppose one, one panel you are looking from the top, like from here, you are looking at the top. Suppose at this part you are looking, at this part. Then, how will it look? From the top view I am saying, I am just magnifying it. Okay, so you are looking from here. This is the top view. So it will be, uh, this one is 4.2. Okay, then 1.875, 1.875, like this. These are the individual panels that we are talking about okay so this is the top view so in your pdf we have considered one that is beyond 0 0.1, 0 0.6 meter is beyond that. Okay, we don't consider that one. Uh, we consider these parts as panels. Okay, we design on these parts because on that 0.6 meter, we do not assume that the like the vehicle loads are falling. We assume that the vehicle's loads are falling here, 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 here. Okay, so we consider these panels for design because we do not consider vehicles to fall like uh, on that 0.6 meter thickness. So that's why we consider that. Okay, so that is one panel 4.2 by 1.875, one panel that you consider. I hope I am clear. If you have any doubt, please uh, instead of uh, writing it down, 
uh, you please uh, speak up, okay? Speak up your doubt. Sure, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, it's very like difficult to type also and uh, speak also. So directly speak your doubts. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, I am recording it, Kubing. Kubing, I am recording it. Don't worry. So, uh, when you are not speaking, you can mute it because the other sounds are uh, may make create noise. So, whenever you have any doubt, you can unmute and directly speak. So, design of now dex lab we are going. So, spacing of strangers. Spacing of strangers. I hope you have understood. Okay, the strangers they are placed along 7.5 meter along the width of the deck. So design of the deck slab. They have taken deck slab 200 mm. Okay, so thickness of the wearing coat 75. Okay, self weight of the deck slab. These things you, uh, I think you will understand. Okay, self weight of the wearing coat. Then total dead load. These things. I think uh, after doing the major project, I don't think uh, you have to understand it, make efforts to understand it uh, anymore. You will, you know it, I guess. So for design of deck slab, dead load they have calculated. Okay, so self weight of deck slab, that is the thickness into unit weight. Again, self weight of wearing coat. So it is thickness of the wearing coat into the self weight of the wearing coat. They have taken 20. Okay, so that's why they have got 1.5 and total they have added it and got 6.5. Now dead load moment, this thing, uh, this piggy out curve, I don't have it with me. Okay, that this piggy out curve, I don't have it with me. So this, uh, the thing is that you have to find out the coefficients M1 and M2 from the piggy out curve based on your, this uh, panel that you have considered, this panel that you have considered, you have to find out the M1 and M2 values. Okay, K is what? Width by length, right? So width of the, it is all related to one panel. Okay, just this panel. Width is 1.875, length is 4.2. So you just have to consider that panel. You don't have to think about the whole bridge. Okay, now, M1 and M2, will you be able to calculate? Like K is width by length, and then one by K you get to, then using these coefficients, you have to find out the M1 and M2. Then there is a formula. After you get the M1 and M2, you get the short span and long span moment using M1 plus 0.15 into M2. Okay, then M2 plus 0.15 into M1. Okay, into 51.2 is what? Total dead load. You get the long span moment. So these two you will get after you get the pig out curves M1, M2. Okay. Now, live load. Live load, this part is the live load this square inside is the live load so please uh, tell me uh, have you studied the irc loadings you can speak directly have you studied no no sir no sir okay so then we have to uh, for a little uh, time, we have to discuss what is the IRC loading. This is IRC AA, right? Uh, what is IRC AA loading? You have to 
understand. Okay, so let me just uh, go to, go to Google. Okay, uh, I don't have the image of the IRC loading right now. Just let me Google it and then I will show it to you by sharing the screen. It's very easy. IRC AA. Yes. Uh, yeah, I have got it. I'll just show it to you. Just let me share the screen once. Have you seen it? Are you being able to see it? So this IRC load is actually a load of a tank. And sir, this IRC load, this one is for track one. Uh, but why we are not using that wheeled one, sir, in IRC A? Because uh, it is not mentioned in the PDF. It is uh, not mentioned here whether it is wheel or track. And in the PDF, they have done the track loading. They have not uh, mentioned here, actually. Specifically, it is not mentioned here. But if in the question it is said that you have to use track, then you have to use track. Or if it is said that you have to use wheel, you have to use wheel. OK. Now, since it is not mentioned here, then I think you have the option to take the either the track loading or the wheel loading. OK. Now, track loading is much easier. OK. So what is happening in the track loading is if you see the tank, OK, if you see the tank, let me just zoom it a little bit. The length of contact is 3.6 meter. Have you seen? length of contact 3.6 meter and if you uh, if i now show you the pdf this length of contact is 3.6 meter are you getting my point okay. this length of contact is 3.6 meter then again If you, if you are looking at the tank from the front or from behind, then there are two tracks in this tank. Each track is giving a load of 350 kilonewton. Have you seen? It is shown here. Each track is giving a load of 350 kilonewton. And the width of each track, this is from the side when you look at it. And this is from the front or from behind, if you look at it. So the width of each track is 0.85. And the load given by each track is 350 kilonewton. So if you please, you if you have a pen and paper, you can draw it down. That is very important. You see total load is 700 kilonewton. OK, it is shown at the top 700 kilonewton then obviously these two tracks are dividing the loads 700 into uh, divided by 2 350 by 350 okay so which of the track is point is so you have to remember two values specifically this 3.6 meter contact and this 0.85 that means one track is in contact with the road surface along a width of 0.85 and along a length of 3.6. So now remember this value, 3.6 and 0.85. OK, remember this value and try to go back to the PDF. This is 3.6 and this is 0.85. So one track is falling on one panel. Have you understood?
please uh, please say if you have understood yes, sir. okay so now is my uh, voice still lagging sir no like not at my place so i don't know uh, Rian is saying too much leg. I, but uh, right now I am in a place where the network is going fine. But uh, have you, uh, are you being able to understand? Are you being able to understand what I am saying? Uh, so that's why yes, I am I am speaking slowly. That's why. So even if it lags, it gets balanced. Okay. So let me continue. I am going slow. Now, this uh, this one is one track. Okay, one track. There are two tracks in a tank. This is just one track. And why one track? Because in this one panel, this one panel, you cannot place two tracks. There is no space. So that's why uh, we assume that one track is falling and it is falling at the center to give the highest effect. Okay, now this uh, U and V you have to calculate. This is what width of the track plus two times of width of the wearing coat, uh, sorry, thickness of the wearing coat whole square plus thickness of the deck slab whole square. That is 1.02. This, when you calculate it, this one is the 1.02. Similarly, V, it is what? V is taken along the length, along the length. So uh, V will be length plus two into thickness of wearing coat whole square plus thickness of the deck slab whole square. You get 3.76. Okay, so in this way, again, you uh, this you have to calculate, this one, and K you have to calculate and you will get M1 and M2, just like this one. Okay, this one. For dead load, this U and V are, uh, uh, U and V becomes one. Okay, U by B, V by L becomes one, but for live load, this U by B has a, specific value v by l has a specific value m1 and m2 are like uh, uh, obtained again m1 plus 0.15 m2 okay into the loading you will get the short span moment okay and then similar you have to find out this so, uh, same procedure you have to use, just like it was used here. Okay, and 1.25 is because we have increased it by 25% impact factor. Yes, in case of dead load, you take it as one. Then 1.25 is impact factor. It is given here, impact factor 0.25. See, as, as I have told you, as far as I know, for dead load, this calculation is one. Okay, I, I was not in touch with this, this part. For live load, you know the calculation, this one. But for dead load, this is, this is one as far as I have done problems previously. 
but still you i i recommend you to go through it okay as i was not in touch i was i have started studying this uh, just after hud man told me so after this short span moment is done then long span moment is done okay then then there is one 0.8 factor you see short span moment for dead load 2.5 short span moment for live load 35.24 so if uh, there is a like clause these things you will get in the book it's better you you should buy the uh, if you have it i have the soft copy okay i have the soft copy jrm and jagdis okay jrm and jagdis bridge design any one of you have it anyone who has this book no sir then uh, that is sir. that is the best book for bridge and uh, we used to study it in our btech and mtech also so the soft copy i have i will uh, share it with a few of you then you all please uh, share it among yourselves okay just after this class i will send the soft copy the whole book soft copy i have with me you can see this numericals every theory everything is there okay so now design moments you have to give a coefficient of 0.8 you see this is dead load plus live load short span and dead load plus live load long span okay and when you get the values you have to we generally do not directly do the analysis with the values that we calculate we increase it by a factor of point uh, 1.5 so that's why we multiply it by 1.5 for dead load and live load then after you get the moment okay for the dex lab our analysis of dex lab is done then design of dex lab this design i i don't think i have to explain it so much because you have done numerous designs in your major projects shall i go with the design this is very simple or shall i proceed <clears throat> just the effective depth required okay then you assume 12 dia bar yeah anyone having any doubt you see assuming 12 diameter bar then effective depth required then uh after you decide the diameter of the bar, you get the available effective depth, okay? For long spin and short spin, because there will be two layers of bars, okay? So for one layer, the effective depth will be this one. And for the other layer, in the other direction, the effective depth will be this one. When you give two layers of bars, in slabs, generally, when you give two layers, there are two effective depths. So, area of steel, general formula. Okay, and for short span, and this is for actually, uh, I think, once again, this should be long span, this spelling mistake. This should be long span because 15.9, this is for long span. Okay, so uh, in this way you do the dex lab design. When is your exam? RCC exam? 
when is the date 27 but your exam are starting from 25th right yes sir so it's uh, very very less than okay so now after dex lab you go to the stringer beams okay for stringer beams for stringer beams what you do is you have to visualize it okay you have to visualize it uh, when you look into the stringer beams this uh, 4.2 because the panel was how much the panel was this uh, 4.2 by 1.875 this one so along the length when you are seeing this 4.2 okay the vehicle is going in uh, from left to right assume that the vehicle is going from left to right okay so that load calculation is simple okay there is not much problem okay self weight dead load and all but for live load whenever uh, you see the dead load you just look into this diagram this diagram you will be able to understand how the dead load is calculated because if i go into the details then it will not be able to be completed wl square by 8 wl by 2 all these formulas you know this is w okay self weight of the stringer beam this is 10 percent of dead load this is self weight of the stringer beam okay self weight of the stringer beam is assumed to be 10 percent of the dead load of the dex lab that you can uh, note it down okay so after that if you look into one panel this is 4.2 meter if you have to give a highest bending moment the track should be at the middle that is obvious and for shear force the track should be at one of the ends it is in general isn't it if the moment is high uh, should be highest the load should be at the center and if the moment is uh, if the shear force is highest the load uh, the this vehicle should be at one of the ends and the stringer is going from left to right right this is 4.2 stringer length is 4.2 so now before you go to the design the moment and shear force calculation is easy okay but this one is very easy but before going to the design design you have to at least go through two videos okay i have luckily or we can say co coincidentally i have prepared videos for design of beams see this stringer is a stringer beam right stringer beam and this is an eye section i have already prepared a video in youtube for design of eye beams so i recommend that you all please i i will share the link of that video you please go through that video today okay uh, two videos i will give you please go through it write it down okay write it down go through it and you have to understand it today itself there is no time okay i have tried to explain it in the best way possible as far as my capacity is there so you do that do your homework and tomorrow we will complete this trust okay otherwise uh, if i from this point onwards if i keep speaking these things you will not be able to understand okay so two videos i always
two videos I am sharing it with you just after this class. Go through it, write it down. You may watch it one or two times, three times, but try to understand it anyhow today. And tomorrow we will complete it. All right. Okay. So hurry up. Let's end the class now. I'm giving you the video right, right away. Don't waste time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you.